Hi everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel. I'm Julien Matt, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I want to do a fragrance house overview of Matière Première, a fairly recent uh, French niche house uh, founded by Aurélie Guichard. He's a very well-known perfumer. He created Versace Eros. He created Gucci Intense Oud, which is my favorite designer oud out there. Uh, he also uh, collaborated with Natalie Lorson, if I'm not mistaken, by creating uh, Zadig Voltaire This Is Him, which I absolutely love, and I already did a review of that fragrance. Uh, he created a lot of fragrances for Robé Pivier, for Narciso Rodriguez, more in the uh, woman's side of things. But uh, so he is a very well known, he has a vast portfolio and now he is the creator of uh, these beautiful fragrances from Mathieu Premier and I discovered this uh, fragrance house by well sampling after actually by buying um, some fragrances from the website Nose Paris and then uh, with that fragrance that with those fragrances that I purchased it came some nice samples and in them was Anson Swap and Radical Rose, which I already did the first impressions. I already uploaded my sampling, some new fragrances, some hidden gems. So feel free to check that video out. I have another one that I have yet to upload. Um, but uh, yes, feel free to check those videos out, those sampling videos out. Uh, it was through sampling of those fragrances that I discovered this beautiful brand. And then I went to a, a niche perfume store here in Lisbon called uh, Skin Life. And Skin Life has some wonderful brands in their portfolio, and one of them is Mathieu Premier. So I went there to check a bit more in depth of their fragrances. Really fantastic brand, very solid brand, niche brand. And well, Long story short, actually, I was very fortunate. Uh, Mathieu Premier reached out to me on Instagram and they were very kind to send me this packaging. And well, I will show you right away. Beautiful, like beautiful presentation here. I love the attention to detail uh, with the, they really glued these samples uh, so uh, I really like this touch um, actually I I did a post on my Instagram about when I received this beautiful packaging um, so I already know all of them uh, this is not a first impressions um, I needed to try because I was very curious to try them even more in depth so and even still, even still, it's not that I can really review in terms of performance, uh, longevity and whatnot, uh, because these are just samples and when I tried them in store, it was, it was briefly also so. It's not that I can, at least regarding to the samples that I have, I can't really tell you about performance, but in terms of smell, they are fantastic. I like more one than the others. I mean, it's, it's uh, part of it. I don't love them all, um, but definitely my favorite is, my favorite, I have to say, is Anson Suave, this one right here, and very simple minimalistic presentation, and Radical Rose, this one right here. Uh, so this is a 6ml, and this is a 100ml bottle size. And these are the sizes that you have, either 6ml or 100ml, if I'm not mistaken. Um, one thing is certain, this Radical Rose will definitely become a 100ml soon. Now, I have here also some blotters from the brand Matière Première, right here. Um, so let's try, again, this, uh, these samples that I have. Let's start from the samples first. Um, so the first one that I have here is Parisian Musk. This one right here. Now, Parisian Musk, um, it's an interesting fragrance because although it has musk, but for me, the most prominent note is fig. And I absolutely love fig. So here we go. right away 
you have this musky but immediately you get this green milky fig yeah the opening it's it's very addictive um it's sweet because of the fig this milky fig it's slightly green has an herbal touch and quite musky the musk here it's some red seed this is like imagine uh, over the musk from uh, the more exclusive line of Mugler, which has an overdose of Brexit and mix it with fig, uh, some green touches, herbal nuances, milky touch. This is this is quite good. I mean, I was expecting a uh, Parisian musk to be a bit more prominent in the musk, to be more musky, more like a suede musk, more like a second skin type of smell, if that makes sense. But I definitely do enjoy Parisian musk. I really do enjoy it. It has a smoothness in it, in here. It has a realistic part. The fig here, actually, it's quite realistic. And although this doesn't have like an official fig fruit, but it's more of the fig leaf that it's listed has an official note, but I definitely detect like the fig fruit, like that fig that you can smell in Philosicos from the Teak. Yeah, in that realm. But it's, it's perfect for spring and summer. This is a sweet, fruity, musky fragrance and the sweetness here i mean it's not overly sweet it's not bubbly sweet doesn't have that bubblegum sweetness not at all it's very well blended and this is a thing that i like in this brand everything is so well blended so well crafted very smooth nothing is scratchy there's no rough edges in here yes i really do like this one this probably might be Either my third or my fourth favorite. Defin definitely I'm considering a full bottle of Parisian musk because I love fig, I love musk and actually the combination of these two notes create a somewhat unique um, fragrance. Very nice scents. Uh, again, I can't really tell you about performance, but I can say that this has a sensuality in it and it's perfect for spring and summer. Again, uh, it's very bright, but at the same time has a sensuality because of the musk, uh, has a gourmand quality because of this milky fig nuance. So I think Parisian musk is definitely a must try if you like these type of fragrances. Now, uh, the next one that I have here is Neroli Orange, this one right here. So Neroli Orange, I mean, just by the name, I think you already uh, should expect a soapy, floral, clean fragrance like your Eau de Cologne type of fragrance. And yes, it really is. Um, actually, when I try this in uh, at Skin Life, um, I really liked it and I was considering to buy a full bottle but when I try this again now from this sample I mean I enjoy it but mm, I already have some fragrances for example Profumum Broma Orangea I also have Neroli Canvas and you know that Neroli for me it's not a note that I really appreciate but this is beautiful nonetheless. Um, this is not scratchy. This doesn't have that overwhelming, overbearing baby powder that I get, uh, that I usually get from Neroli fragrances. So smooth. Definitely the orange blossom in here. And it's green. It's really, it's, it smells like you're sitting under an orange blossom tree. This gives me the Orangea, Orangea from Profumo Broma vibes. Because of the high quality, because of the realistic, natural smelling nuances. 
but unlike Orangea, because Orangea it's more of a true orange blossom here, then you get the Neroli. Then the Neroli starts to be more prominent and then you get that Eau de Cologne, that classic Eau de Cologne style. Which actually in here, although it's not my favorite category of fragrance, I really do appreciate in this one. I really do like this. Um, and I'm not a fan of Neroli, I'm really not, but in here it's crafted so well. So well blended, the quality of the ingredients in here is fantastic. So let me read you the note breakdown of Neroli Orange, which actually I forgot to tell you also the note breakdown of Parisian Musk, although the main notes that I told you are really the fig leaf and the red seed. But let me tell you just briefly the Parisian Musk. You have red seed, Virginia cedar, fig leaf, Ambretolite and Broxen. Now, in Neroli Orange, you have Orange Blossom Absolute, Neroli, Bergamot, Ylang Ylang, and Musk. So, again, this is a clean, fresh, soapy, Eau de Cologne type of scent, which is done really well. I really do appreciate this one. Not sure if I will buy a full bottle, but for what it is and considering the fact that I don't like Neroli, this is done very well. So this one is Neroli or Neroli Orange. Now the next one that I have here is Cologne Cedra and what a stunning scent. Uh, Cologne Cedra is, well, like the name suggests, like a citrusy fragrance, a fresh citrusy fragrance and it's done so well. It's done so well. So let's get here another blotter here. Cologne Cedra. So here it is. Oh, this is wonderful. Wow. Wow. It's very lemony with bergamot. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh man, this is fantastic. And it's all I get. It's like a lemony bergamot, but the most juicy, effervescent combination of lemon and bergamot. Fantastic. Now this goes in the realm of like Eau Sauvage, like Eau de Rocha, that type of lemon and bergamot. But it's, oh man, this, this is really good. Okay, and I think this is my third favorite. Um, Parisian Musk will be my fourth. This is my third. I mean, this opening, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, again, it's not the most unique because it reminds me of some other fragrances, but it's still different. Um, although it goes in that, for example, the Old Sauvage that really came to my mind and Eau de Rocha, the lemon and the bergamot, but uh, this still is different from those fragrances that I mentioned. Wonderful, wonderful. And for from what I understood, at least from the blotter, uh, when I already, when I tried the this Cologne Cetra, and I didn't try this on my skin, which I, I will do it. Uh, let's Let's test this on skin. It's the best way to test the fragrance, so. Beautiful, this is beautiful. Gorgeous, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. This opening is out of this world. Now, the performance, at least from the paper, seems to be quite good for citrus. Sense. So uh, let's read here the note breakdown. So you have Italian citron, you have Madagascar pepper, pink pepper, bergamot, and mate absolute. Mate absolute gives this hay slash tobacco nuance, which I really can detect in here, like a hay feel. And it gives more oomph, more body, more complexity to this fragrance. 
but oh man this the citrus the citrus in here is to die for if I would have this fragrance uh, when I uploaded my 10 amazing citrus fragrances this would definitely be in that video fantastic I prefer this one to Neroli Orange definitely this doesn't have any floral nuances this is strictly citrus with hay and it's amazing perfect for spring and summer as well fantastic skin and paper this smells heavenly if you like citrus i highly advise you to to check out colon sebra from matier premiere now the next one that we have here it's actually my least favorite of the bunch uh, it is santal austral uh, and actually these are all eau de parfum so santal austral this one right here i love sandalwood actually i already uploaded uh, my top 10 best sandalwood fragrances it was last year um but and I had high expectations with this one, with uh, Santal Austral, but the sandalwood in here, it's not that prominent. You see, I mean, right from the opening, I love the opening. The opening is amazing because you have sandalwood, but it's very milky. You have a very milky gourmandish sandalwood right from the opening. Because this has, if I'm not mistaken, almond milk with sandalwood. The opening is delicious, gorgeous. And I would love that the opening would be like this, but the development of the fragrance would be more about the sandalwood. Like the milk nuance will would fade away a bit more could be like in the background of all the fragrance but the sandalwood and some spices would came up a bit more that would be perfect but it's not the case now oh, wow. this is delicious i love gourmand fragrances and this smells heavenly the opening this almond milk nuance kind of re uh, reminds me of um search of what's the name from the Casa Morati line that now I'm forgetting that it's delicious that gourmand fragrance well and now I'm having a blank here but well I will show you the bottle um, but it kind of reminds me of that fragrance but then the sandalwood starts to fade away and the development the dry down it's a bit flat it I get uh, when this in the dry down I get like a sweet shampoo if, I, if that makes sense I really don't like the development the, this is still the opening the opening is gorgeous it's uh, fantastic but I really don't like how this develops um, I was expecting something more like um, in the note breakdown you have Australian sandalwood almond milk Iris absolute. I don't detect any iris in here. No, not iris. Uh, benzoin, tonka bean, absolute. And that explains the sweetness. I can see the benzoin. I can really see the benzoin. But. For a sandalwood, I mean, I was expecting a more prominent uh, sandalwood, a spicy sandalwood. Love the almond milk touch, but for a sandalwood, this the sandalwood needs to be more prominent. I mean, it's nice. I know some of you might enjoy this, but for me, it was a letdown. Although I still need to try, but it was a bit of a letdown. So this is Santal Austral. The next one is a very interesting fragrance. Uh, it is Bois de Ben. This one right here. Now this, I still need to test this more uh, because just on paper, 
This is really interesting. It's not like it was a love at first sniff, like for example, on Sun Suave and Radical Rose, Rose was, were, but uh, it's still very interesting. So, let's see, this is very woodsy. So, of course, as the name suggests, Bois de Ben, this will be very woodsy, dry. Yeah, immediately from the start, woods. But the start of this fragrance, unlike the others, uh, the opening, it's it's weird because it's not that you detect something. You smell woods, but you can't pinpoint what it is. And it's it's like a blend of alcohol and woods, woody notes. And now, now you get, now I can get at least um, dry woods. The most prominent, no, I, I smell cedar. Cedar, Gaiac wood, these are the most prominent woods, you know, that I get right from the opening. These five seconds, uh, like I told you, the first five, ten seconds, it's weird because you, it's, you just smell like alcohol in woods. Um, but after those uh, initial seconds, you can detect like the cedar, dry cedar with uh, Gaia wood. A very interesting fragrance, like uh, you have also patchouli, Nagar Martha, Brazilian, Cambrueva. Yeah, Cabrueva. I never saw this uh, note. Uh, this is a woody note. Um, it's quite dry. It has like an incense nuance in here. And again, it's. I will try this on my skin because uh, just like Colon Cedra, I didn't try this on my skin, at least yet. Now that will change. So. Let's see. Now, on my skin, the alcohol nuance that I get from the opening, like in the initial seconds, it's not as prominent as, in, as is in paper. But I definitely... Yeah, and the woods are definitely more prominent, more powerful, I would say. Oh yeah, Ooh. on my skin, the woodsy nuances, this cedar and gaiacud are definitely very strong. Yeah, I will say I much prefer this on my skin than on paper. It has more character on my skin, much more character. Yeah, it's dry, it's incense, it has like an incense accord like a smoky nuance mm, very masculine for me at least um wonderful I, I think this doesn't have no this doesn't have any cedar at least it has an official note but i really detect any see uh, a cedar nuance mm, the guy put in here it's also quite nice it gives a light creamy nuance but i really do enjoy it for its uniqueness, um, I never smelled any fragrance like this before. The most, the closer fragrance that I tried that can resemble to this one is Pure Wood from Mugler, and yet it's very different. Yeah, if you like woody fragrances, strictly woody fragrances, I think this is a great alternative. Uh, Bois d'Ebene. I really like this. No, I really do like this. On paper, it's nice, but this again doesn't have enough character. It's it seems a bit flat here. Oh yes, on my skin, you detect more nuances. Not as dry. The woody notes are not as dry on paper as on my skin. Like on my skin, the Gaia wood creates this creamy nuance in the background. Um, wonderful, wonderful scent. 
very unique fragrance in my opinion Bois de Ben high quality scent I will say the woods using here at least come off as high quality great scent uh, Bois de Ben let me see how is Colon Setra oh it's <laughs> It's my third favorite definitely my third favorite and in the fourth spot let's say it's between parisian musk and bois de ben and actually just for your information uh Mathieu premier has now a new fragrance called falcon leather and i love leather i have yet to do a top 10 favorite leather fragrances and i'm very curious to try that one so let's try again <laughs> These two are my favorites. So this is Ensemble Suave and this is Radical Rose. Um, Mathieu Premier has a discovery set of all of the fragrances. They come uh, with each one of them. Each sample comes in a 6 ml size. And you will see it's very cute. <laughs> I really do like this mini. It's like a mini bottle. This one right here. Look how cute it is <laughs> so this is radical rose and you have a sprayer right here so basically you just unscrew the cap like so and now you will screw the spray like this there you go and you get yourself a nice spray. Uh, I really do like the touch in here. I love this. I absolutely love this. Radical Rose is... will definitely become my next purchase. Definitely. Um, I'm in love with this Radical Rose. I love rose fragrances. Uh, last year, I think I did my top 10 favorite rose i think it was either last year or two years ago not uh, now i'm not sure but this one radical rose wow i will spray nice mist oh yeah <laughs> if you like rose this is a must-have oh and uh, like I was saying, so Mathieu Premier has uh, a discovery set all of their all of their fragrances, and each sample or each um, bottle comes in this six ml, and it's uh, the price is one hundred and twenty euros. Now, I think Celine. Uh, which now has been getting some attention. Celine also has this format of discovering uh, the fragrances, this sample kit discovery set. But um, quite honestly, I'm not a big fan of it because not all people are willing, and I'm, ta and I'm talking even for myself, uh, I'm not willing to pay over 100 euros to discover a fragrance house. Uh, now, although this is a very generous um, a very generous size. I would prefer the standard sample, uh, like 2 ml, 1.5 ml, and you would pay, I don't know, uh, 30, 40 euros. I mean, the standard price of a discovery set from a niche perfumery, uh, from a niche perfume house. Um, I would, I much prefer that than like a very pretty, um, discovery set with a more, with a bigger size of the sample. I much prefer like the standard because then if I really do appreciate and with 1.5, like these that I just show you, these, they are, I think 1.5, if I'm not mistaken exactly 1.5 this would be perfect like a sample kit just with uh, this size of sample and uh, you can try and you just like this you can discover the fragrance house and more people just with the standard uh, sample kit more people would know would have the possibility to discover uh, the fantastic fragrances that Mathieu Premier has uh, so this is just my opinion of course now that being said let's return to Radical Rose Wow, this is an overdose of rose. This is like rose absolute. 
it has a sweetness in here it goes like in a jammy territory, like this jammy rose territory, but not entirely. Absolutely love this. It's a full on sweet red rose. Oh, so good. This is so good. It's not overly sweet. It's simply, and it's so damn sexy. <laughs> Absolutely love this for the sensuality, for the warmness, for the cozy. It's even cozy, I would say. Absolutely love this. So uh, the note breakdown of Radical Rose is Saffron, Rose, Centophila, Absolute, Pepper, Patchouli, Labdanum. Definitely the tag, the Saffron in here. A big dose of Saffron, also it's prominent um, in here with a hint of this resinous labdanum but it's more in a dry down this is these these three are definitely the main notes the rose absolute the saffron and labdanum oh man this is fantastic if you like for example search of more than words if you like uh, rose arabi from uh, armani privé um, if you like these type of rose, if you like, for example, Rose Flash from Towerville, from the app from Andy Tower, if you like these, you will definitely love uh, per, um, Radical Rose. Not saying that this is similar uh, whatsoever, no, but it's in that category. <laughs> so good. This is so good. It's mind-blowing and the performance is insane this will last you through the entire day and evening and if you over spray you can really choke yourself and this is another parfum but this is quite powerful absolutely love this radical rose oh man it's wonderful and i really do like this uh, 6ml mini this mini bottle but again for discovery set I much prefer like the standard um, size, the 1.5, and through that you can discover uh, the, the fragrances of any perfume house. Now, the creme de la creme, <laughs> Ensemble Suave. Ensemble Suave is a fantastic incense fragrance with lots of benzoin and labdanum and this is the full bottle presentation so this is i love the bottle presentation of matier premier fragrances um really like this bottle uh very heavy very thick and very minimalistic very chic um and it has quality even the the cap it's heavy oh <laughs> this is this is outstanding an overdose of frankincense with benzoin and labdanum oh this is out of this world it's also quite seductive oh. so four notes you have frankincense labdanum absolute benzoin uh, absolute coffee bourbon vanilla absolute yes actually i wanted to say uh you also i also detect vanilla but i was not sure if this had vanilla uh well it has apparently because the benzoin give has like vanillic qualities but this definitely has like a vanilla sweetness in here well let's spray uh and also you can see the mist the nice mist um maybe it's the only thing that they can improve it's the the spray i mean it's a standard spray but it's not in the quality of a dior or even creed uh, spray but nonetheless it serves the purpose it's just a detail small detail oh <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is insane how good this fragrance smells like. This is definitely the best. Ensemble Suave is the best from uh, Matière Première. 
immediately followed by radical rows and then colon etc. But the high quality of the incense in here is outstanding. The blend, the uniqueness. This is sensual. I, and this is a thing that I never experienced before, like a sensual incense fragrance. Never, never experienced that, but in here, oh, it's done so well. But it, it also has like a relaxing, um, meditative uh, feel that usually incense fragrances have, at least for me. This is truly amazing. I highly advise you to check Anson Suave, uh, especially if you love incense like I do. This is a high quality incense. Fantastic. Um, I really did my top, it was a top 12 favorite incense fragrances and my favorite it is to this day Olibanum, but I think now it's in, it's a toss up between Olibanum from Profumum Roma and Anson Suave from Matier Premier. High quality. The, one of the best incense fragrances that I ever smelled. Amazing. Guys, once again, I really advise you to check this fragrance house overall. Um, all of them are, all of the fragrances come across has a high quality, very well blended. And so I think this fragrance house, although it's very recent, it was uh, created, I think it was founded in 2019, but they already have fantastic fragrances here so once again guys hope you enjoyed this video tell me in the comments down below if you already are familiarized with Mathieu Premier if you like any of the fragrances uh, what's your favorite if you already tried Mathieu Premier fragrances what is your favorite fragrance from them tell me everything that comes down below guys and see you in the next video take care ciao